Hey there, amazing folks, AutoGPT here, and today we're diving into something seriously cool, Rebyte AI. You know, the platform that lets you bring your Gen AI dreams to life on day one. But hey, if you're not part of our awesome community yet, hit that subscribe button below and join the AutoGPT fam. We've got loads of tech goodness coming your way. All right, let's get into it. Picture this, creating your own AI applications without the headache of complicated coding. That's exactly what Rebyte AI is all about. It's like having a magic wand for turning your ideas into reality. So, what can you do with Rebyte? Well, you can draw and describe your app without touching a single line of code. They've got these ready-made agents that power up your apps, and you can design and choose the ones that fit your style. And guess what? You can see everything happening in your system in real time. Plus, deploying your app, super easy with Rebyte. Ready to roll with Rebyte? First things first, Let's get you signed up. Head over to Rebity.com, hit that sign up button, and let's get you in on the Gen A action. Now that you're in, creating your first app is like a walk in the park. A few clicks here, a dash of creativity there, and voila. But hey, enough of me talking. Let's peek at some real examples created by the Rebyte AI pros. First demo for a chatbot UI with a Mixtral 8 Dakeseth B AI agent. Hello everyone, let me show you how to create this web application without coding on the platform. So let me show you how this is working right now. And it's actually sending the request to the uh, to the Mistral backend through an AI agent. So we can do like a use Python to print one to hundred. And that's can do use JavaScript. Yeah, I'm just show you it actually works. So then on the rebyte as a platform. Uh, how to get started. So uh, there's two parts of any web application. First part is the UI. The second part is the backend AI agent. Uh, so I start with doing a screenshot of one of the famous uh, chat chatbot, and uh, I prompt the system, tell it to create a chat GPT-like chat interface. So this is the result I got. I think it's pretty close to what we want. Um, so for the next iterations, uh, I said, okay, uh, instead of just doing UI, I will connect to the Mistral uh, 7 billion chat agent. Um, then the next iteration, I asked it to send the request to the chat chatbot, a uh, chat agent, and add the chat box into uh, the response. So uh, after that, uh, once I test, it works fine. Here, okay. if I send the request, it actually got the response. That means the front end and the back end are already connected. Uh, through the next iterations, I will just keep adding newer UIs and the backends. And you can either do, give one example, you can either do through prompts or through visual presentations uh, using a TL draw. So after a few iterations, you will get the final result. Once you have the final re result, you are able to open a newer tab to, to testing it, or you can just simply set to public and choose a external name and sh or share this with your friends. That's it. The whole uh, process don't require any coding. Next demo for ALLM prompt UI with three AI agents. Hello, everyone. Let me show you how to create this application without doing any coding. So let's get started. Up. So what God Mode does is it's sending the request to all the different larger models here from the OpenAI ChatGPT and the Gemini Pro from Google and the Klaus. How did I do that? For general AI applications, there are two parts. One is the UI. The second is the agents. Let's start with the UI. Here, you see I draw an image of how the UI is going to look like and send this to the Rebyte AI agent and ask it to generate a UI for me. So this is the result I got from the larger model. It was not great. So for the next few iterations, my focus is to help make sure through the text prompt or a visual prompt to help my agents to create a UI that looks accurate. Once I get to a state that looks accurate, like here, next step is to select a few agents as a backend of any web applications. So for this example, I'm going to select three of the different AI agents, Gemini, Cloud, and GPT. After you select those agents, you're going to say, connect those agents here without doing any coding. So once you 
connect this successfully, you can just test the UI, make sure it works. Then that's it. All your work is done. Once it's done, you can give it a name, set it to public, and share this with your friends. If you are an engineer like me, you might want to say, oh, I want to read the code. Yes, we do help you to send to see the code here. You can see those are all the all the responses and requests we create through the example. And the HTML and uh, CSS code generated for this example. Next demo for a beautiful calculator. Iterate UI with AI agent. Okay, how do we create a calculator without doing any coding? And it's hosted on the platform. So let me show you how to do this. First, you're going to describe to the Rebyte UI AI agent saying, okay, you want a calculator. So then the Rebyte UI AI agent is going to come back with the design. So look at this design. It works somewhat, but it's not exactly. So next, you're going to describe what you need to change to a larger model. For example, you're going to change saying, oh, clear the button need to change to different icon and the, the format need to be changed. Larger model will come back with a newer design like this. So it's somewhat better than the previous one, but the problem is it's really hard to view. Then you're going to ask your larger model saying, okay, I want to improve the UI by changing the color. Finally, this is the result you get. You get a working calculator and with the proper color and everything's correctly. So next, you're going to come to the setting and set the name and set it to public and give it an external name. So you can share this with your friends. Thank you. Next demo for create a AI news website with backend you.com. Hello everyone. Let me show you how to create a AI news website without doing any coding. And all the websites currently are powered by you.com backend API. So how do I do that? If you, if you have viewed the previous two uh, videos, first, for any UI, you have to describe what you want. So here, the description was, I want to create a EI news website and with top list of topics. So our business, technology, and health. So once you have a basic design of how the web page going to look like, the next, you're going to select a EI agent. So you're going to ask your larger model to power the front end with the EI agent. Through a few iterations, you will have this really nice website. I'm going to dive a little bit on the agent side. So as for the agent, there's several key concepts. There's, you can use larger model as tools and you can also use tools like Udacom search. Here, the basic logic is, once you get all the keywords from the front end, we are going to do a larger model search with all the results. Then, once we have everything, we're going to summarize this to generate a proper JSON to power this front end. If you want to read the code um, for, for this, it's pretty simple. A few lines of code, it's here. Most of the heavy liftings are happening in the agent itself. We will explain how the AI agents is built through the next few demos or videos. Stay tuned. Next demo for create a weather app. Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to create a generative AI weather app without doing any coding. So this is the result I researched for my city. So what it does is it's going to find the city through the u.com uh, endpoint. Then once it gets the result from today and tomorrow's weather, it's going to use today's weather to generate a stable diffusion image for it. It's pretty looks pretty interesting. Uh, how do I do that? If you have watched previous videos, you will probably already know for any general AI applications, start with the UI. You will, you will work with the AI agent to describe what UI you want to have. So this is the UI for the AI to generate in the very beginning. Then you're going to partner with the AI to iterate on the front end through the make it an app UI. After you get a proper version you think that looks accurate, you're going to connect with an agent to the backend. So that's the UI can power, can get data from the AI agent. Finally, after a few more iterations, you're going to get the final UI. At this point, 
you can either choose to take a look at the code or just simply have a setting, give it a name, set it to public, and share it with the friends. I'll spend this, a little bit of time on the weather agent since it's a little bit complex. So there are two tools we used to power the weather agent. First is u.com search. We use u.com search to get the information for the city. The second is stable diffusion. Once we get the first city's weather, we're going to send that over to stable diffusion and you're going to generate image. So that's how you get both the weather and image for the city. Thank you for watching. Last and final demo video for a calendar image connect with your AI calendar agents. Now, let me show you how to create a generative AI calendar without any coding. So start from, uh, this is the UI we created and uh, you can book meetings with me, meeting with Sean and meeting, then put my email. So once it shows correctly successfully, it's going to take some time, go through the AI agent and book the meeting on my calendar. It usually take about probably 20 to 30 um, seconds to go through. So you see this particular time automatically marked as not available. So to prove I already have the meeting, so this is the meeting just created. So then the question is, how did I do that? So for any of the, uh, so far probably already heard me repeat this so many times, for any of the web applications, there's two parts, the UI and the agent. So let's about talk about the agent first. So there's bunch of agents it's used to power this UI, to, to get it actually working. So those are agents are slightly complex, so it's a topic for the next time. And for the very beginning, uh, you might look, uh, this, this UI might look familiar to you. We use this UI as a reference for all the UIs we are creating for our use. And everywhere it should be able to see the actual code generated for the UI. And once you have it created, you should be able to set it in the setting and share it with everyone. I'm lucky to just take the calendar name. So this is actually connected to my calendar. Don't spam my calendar. Thank you. Check out these awesome Gen AI applications. We're talking art, automation, and everything in between. And the best part, you can do this too. Let those creative juices flow. That's a wrap for today's adventure with Rebyte AI. If you're as pumped up as I am, smash that like button. Questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. And if you want more Gen AI magic, you know the drill. Hit subscribe button.